Ultimately, within an NBA organization, the goal is to make decisions that help that team win championships. Using data to inform those decisions is always going to be a big part of what we do. I've uh, been with the Raptors in one form or another since 2009. I've seen a lot of ups and downs with the franchise and also seen the, the field of analytics change in some pretty uh, wild ways. AWS has helped us scale the, the work that we're able to do with the same resources that we've previously had, which has really helped us from an efficiency standpoint, but also from an overall production standpoint to be able to tackle much larger challenges than we were able to do previously. Just like at the NBA or the professional level, the college and international level, which feeds into our draft decision, is seeing a great increase in data size and complexity. And so AWS has been a key partner with us in terms of bringing all these new data sources together for analysis and allowing us to mine the entire world for, for players that might be the next Toronto Raptor. There's a lot of ways you can score two points in the NBA. We're interested in how those two points came to be as opposed to just who was the person who last touched the ball before it went in. And so there are a lot of complicated data sets that actually describe this information if you're willing to and able to, deep, to dive deeply into them but you're not gonna see it on the box score. A big part of our job is this kind of multidiscipline approach where scouting and player evaluation and sports science are not just existing in silos, they exist together. So a data set that we may have done some work on for the purposes of the draft also might have application when it comes to evaluating NBA players or doing sports science. And so being able to centralize a lot of this data in a way that we can then access it and easily work with it has been a, a real win.